Hello, and today I'm just going to be showing you how to take 3D models from Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2 and bring them into either 3DS Max or Maya. Um, any year would probably work. And you're going to need quite a few programs. So I'll put a link to all of them in the description. And also, you're going to need a Max script. Um, to import the MDL files, so I'll put a link to that in the description also. And so the first thing you want to do is you want to create a folder anywhere, probably on your desktop, uh, anywhere you want to is fine. And I'll just call this MDL, because that's pretty much where you're going to be storing your stuff. That's a file that it is. And so if you expand, you'll open up the KOTOR tool, KOTAR, Knights of the Old Republic tool, and expand KOTOR 1, then go to BIFs, then um, Models, then the first thing you want to open is Aurora Model, and then you can scroll down to, I think it's V underscore E Hawk, and this is the Ebon Hawk. And if you've played this game, you better know what that is. Uh, and so this is the one we're going to do. And so click on that. And then go over to Extract File. And then it's going to bring up a little um, file dialog. Go to wherever you put your folder. And wherever this is. Let's see. What did I name it? Oh, MDL, that's right. Alright, open, save. Alright, so now that's the first part done. Then you need to, you can go ahead and minimize, uh, minimize that to make it a little bit easier. And then you have to expand Aurora model extension and find the same thing. Now if I knew why I would tell you guys but I I really don't know why I just found out how to do this took me a while and I thought somebody should simplify it so that's what I decided to do so just do the same thing with that extract then save and then open up MDL ops and select KOTOR 1 then do select file and that'll bring up an open file dialog and go to wherever you have it. So MDL open and then select your this MDL file and then if you click open and then you're gonna wanna click um, read and write model and then it'll show all this crap, whatever that means. And then open up um, explore to where you have your folder wherever and there will be this text document called um, whatever you selected textures so double click that and oop, it'll bring up a list of the textures that it needs actually it doesn't need this one it only needs this one so if you come into here into the KOTOR tool and we can go ahead and minimize this and models and if you go down to textures oh, oops, ERFs texture packs and the high res is TPA medium is TPB and then low res is TPC so open up this go on to V and then V underscore ehawk 01 and then click extract file and then go ahead and save it as TGA and not TPC and save that file and then if you go into 3ds max um, and go to max script new script and copy and paste the code that I'm gonna put a link to in the description um, kudos to whoever wrote that it's pretty cool found it helpful and then go to run script and find wherever wherever you put that I don't remember where I put it I think it's here yeah 
I don't know why it's there. It's getting pretty sloppy when I did this. And then run that, and then it'll bring up this nice little window. And go to Browse, and find your folder once again. And make sure you select the ASCII because this will not work. This is what MDL Ops did. It, um, yeah, converted it to ASCII. And then open, and then you want to just click import, and then give it a minute. And then you have there, Evan Hawk. Pretty cool. And so, yeah. And so that's how you bring it into 3ds Max. It's pretty good. But say you don't work in 3ds Max, you work in Maya or anything like that. Well, you can't really just send it to Maya. Like you can send it to Mudbox or anything. But you can't export it to um, OBJ object. And just I'll put this to um, my desktop. And I'll just call it ebonhawk.obj. And then you click export and then wait till it's done exporting and click done. And then come over into Maya and well you just export it. So go to import and you will go to desktop and find ebonhawk.obj and import that. and it is very large so if I were you I would minimize it because they have it really big okay and as you can see the texture isn't there that's because the there's no texture made for it so if you open up your hyper shade and okay if you open up your hyper shade, hyper shade and just create a Lambert and then go to file create a file and then go to your attribute editor you should know how to do this and then go to desktop MDL uh, and select your texture now ideally you would put this in your source images folder in your directory but right now I'm not really focusing on that and then you can just apply this texture and there you have your model from Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and again this works with any model you find in there and you have it in Maya or 3ds Max and it works perfectly fine um, you can do this with any of the players or any of the objects you find in game or guns or like the lightsabers which honestly the lightsabers aren't very good I'm going to make a tutorial on how to make a pretty cool lightsaber uh, later on. Um, and yeah, that's all I have to show you. Thanks. Bye.